Hey guys, what's up? Paladin here. I haven't made a Xenoverse video in a while, and I haven't gone in-depth into one uh, in a while as well. I've only made two of them. Maybe three. I, I could be wrong. Maybe it's two. Maybe it's... I don't know. Anyway, so... Yeah, uh, I think I'm not really going to talk about any news specifically, because there really hasn't been any news for a while for it. Um, not too much anyway. There's been some small things getting released. You know, there's the GT characters, and then... Uh, there's just a couple of other things that have been getting released for the most part. The most important thing is probably the GT characters, honestly, uh, because I've talked about roughly everything else. Uh, besides the, yeah, there was an extended version of the trailer that I, I watched and, you know, discussed with you guys in the second video, and that essentially kind of, meh, it just... It was an extended trailer. I was gonna make a video about it, and I was like, eh, I don't really care. It's a, eh. <laughs> Um... But anyways, my opinions of the game so far, it's still looking like a really fantastic game. Uh, 2015 is looking to be the year of DBZ stuff. Um, 2014 was kind of as well, sort of. I think the last game was Battle of Z, which, you know, people didn't really like too much. Uh, I didn't buy it. I played the demo, and I thought the demo was okay. Uh, I played the shit out of the demo. I played it for like five hours straight, actually. I just would not stop playing it. Um... So I know from my demo experiences, I thought it was kind of fun. I I just like wailing on people. It's just really fun because I don't know, maybe it's kind of glitchy and stuff in that sense. But I don't know. I thought it was fun. Uh, but anyways, so uh, for Xenoverse, uh, you know, you've got Toa and Mir, the people who are pretty much destroying time as we fucking know it in DBZ universe. Uh, so I find those characters would be very interesting since they are the Dragon Ball Mine characters. Uh, I still, you know, I've talked about this before, but I find it very interesting that Dimps is sort of, you know, they saw Dragon Ball Online, they saw that it wasn't, you know, it wasn't going to be any around anymore, and they just took the concept and ran with it. So I, I think that that's a very good, smart idea on their part. Uh, from what I've heard, though, as an update, sort of, uh, they haven't, they're not doing exactly what Dragon Ball Online did. So they're taking the characters, yes, and using them, but their story is a little different. It's not the exact same as Dragon Ball Online, so I find that to be interesting because, well, they're doing their own unique thing. Also, I think that the character customization is looking to be really, really good. Uh, I'm thinking about making a, a video, though, about um, some things that could possibly ruin Xenoverse, uh, but so far I haven't really seen those issues for the most part. I'm, I'm hoping they kind of go away, though. Um, there's just a very small amount of um, uh, that I could put as a what-if list of things that you probably should not do in that game. One of the biggest things uh, that I guess I should put in that video, um, and it, it's not really a, a future video, it's just already confirmed, you know, it's not like a future prediction video of, oh, if you do this to the game, it'll be, you know, that'll be kind of disappointing. It's This is literally already confirmed. Um, Vegeta Super Saiyan 4, a essential character of the series, at least GT standards he was, uh, and a lot of people like the Super Saiyan 4 form. Vegeta Super Saiyan 4 is only available if you pre-order the game, and he's apparently not going to be released as DLC later for either free or for money. And, you know, the PSN network, you know, the PlayStation Store, or the uh, Xbox Live Marketplace, which I find kind of lame. Why do companies do that? Why do they feel the need to do that? That is, that's a business practice... You should not follow. Don't force people to pre-order your fucking game. Maybe they want to see reviews. Maybe they want to see other people play it first. You know, maybe they really like Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. They, maybe they just couldn't get the game right away. Some people don't have money like that. So it's just kind of like, eh. You know, don't do shit like that, Dimps. Or uh, Ban uh, Bandai Namco. You just don't do that. It's kind of annoying and stupid. I think they did the same thing. I, I think they did the same thing for uh, Su Super Saiyan Goku. I don't think I don't know if it was Super Saiyan Goku. I'm pretty sure it was because they only showed him as Super Saiyan Goku. Uh, but you know they did the same thing for Goku and Naruto's outfit. I think I could be wrong. I like I said I didn't play Battle of Z, nor did I like really care to check on the marketplace to see if that came out eventually. But like you know they did that for a while as well, and you know the whole Naruto. Wearing Goku's outfit thing. I, I actually got that, though, because I wanted Storm 3, like, really badly. So I, I got the Naruto Goku outfit thing. Um, but, yeah. Uh, moving on from that. Um, you know, I, I, mean, I am going to make a video soon-ish. I don't know exactly when. Maybe before the month's over. 
Uh, a, a couple of things that could ruin Xenoverse, in my opinion. It's just, you know, throw some things out there that they probably shouldn't do. Uh, but, you know, that overall, so far, Xenoverse is looking really good. Uh, the character customization options seem really, really great. Again, there are some things that I want to talk about, though, about that. The thing that worries me the most about this game is also going to be in the video. I, I might as well talk about it now, because I've just been wanting to talk about it for so long now. Uh, it will be in that video, though, that I'm going to make eventually. Why is there only one health bar? Come on, Dems. You know, just give us an extra two health bars. Give us three health bars. You know, it seems like matches are over a little too fast. It seems like, you know, a fucking super takes away half your health bar already as it is. Just give us more health, please. Now, I don't know if the health bar is going to work like Battle Aziz health bar, where it's based off of sort of like a point system, and if you have more points, then you have a bigger health bar, essentially, which Ultimate Tenkaichi kind of did that, but it wasn't a bar. It was literally just points. Which was stupid, and I thought was retarded, but we all know how I feel about that game. Yeah, that review from, like, 2011, everything that I say in that review is probably still what, how, I feel, uh, how I feel about Ultimate Tenkaichi as, as, as of today. Even though most of my stuff from pre-2011, I probably don't like, honestly. Most of my videos from 2011 and uh, earlier, I probably just don't like them anymore. They... Nah. But anyways, uh, back to, you know, Xenoverse. Uh, I do think that the health system could be a little revamped. I hope that they change that a little bit, because uh, I don't really like just the one health bar. I kind of want matches to last a while. The game looks really fun. Let me make the match last longer by, you know, kind of giving more health bars. And if it is a points slash health bar system, then I should be able to hopefully allocate the points to whatever I want in a custom match. If I cannot do that, then that's kind of lame. Uh, but again, as for the character customization, I, cause I can't keep, I can't literally stop raving about that. That is probably the number one selling point of that game, other than the story mode. It just, that is so amazing. Like, there's over a hundred and, uh, no, not a hundred, uh, more than, what was it, like, 450 options? It was like, 450 character customization options and like, 300 something moves. I think it was like, 350 ironically moves, so it was like, 450 character customization options and then like you know 300 or 350 moves so i thought that was really awesome now another thing that they should do to this game and i'm hoping they do to this game is because we're already getting gt characters i really hope that because the gt characters seem to have not been planned it seems like they were like oh let's have all the z characters in that we want but let's not have gt characters in uh, as we now know, Goku Super Saiyan 4 is in the game. If you, uh, he, I think he's already in the game, actually. Yeah, he's just straight up in the game. Uh, and then Vegeta, you know, he's a pre-order bonus. You know, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. And I'm assuming, and I'm going to hope, for DLC packs that are either free or uh, at least for a low cost. Like, let's say, I'd say, like, every character is, like, a buck or two or something like that. And then, like, if you want a pack of them, like a three-pack, then it's, like five or something like that you know uh but anyways that's what i personally think or there could be a season pass you never know i think there could be a season pass for this game it has it has potential to have a season pass as uh you know you to really make this game awesome and stand out you know it's got a hub world and everything so like i would assume they're gonna try and make this game last a long time if it does well and so which i hope it does well by the way uh, but if that's the case, then I hope that, you know, maybe some extra story content gets added on. Like I said, I really want those character packs, though. What I'm most excited for, and what I really hope they do, is if they make DLC, uh, for the game, that adds more character customization options, and maybe even, like, more races, possibly. You never know. Uh, it seems like the Android race is kind of left out at the moment, but honestly, the Android race is, like, pretty much human, only they're... They're not really androids, they're cyborgs, first of all, so they're, like, half-human, half-robot, and they absorb energy, and they can't power up for the most part. At least that's how the games have been. So, you know, I don't really care too much about that. I mean, some people do, you know, never, you know, some people do. But I feel like you'd be limited with the eyes and stuff a little bit, because it seems like all the androids have, like, the same fucking eye scheme other than Dr. Zero and a couple of others, but that's just my two cents on that. Uh... <laughs> But anyways, uh, I really am excited for this game. Uh, another thing that I really want to kind of go into a little bit is I hope we can edit, like, the amount of muscle our character has. Uh, I don't know if there's, like, a heavy 
light medium sort of kind of thing that's going on like ultimate tenkaichi had uh but i hope that's kind of sort of not the case i kind of want to just edit straight up my characters muscles how tall they are all that jazz and shit probably hopefully going to be able to do that I i'd like to hope so anyways um and also you know just maybe if uh dimps is feeling generous you know create a female you could Edit the breast size, just throwing that out there. I uh, just did a little assumption, you know, maybe we could go for that, Dimps. Maybe, please. It's a $5 DLC. Okay, I'll pay for that. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, <laughs> Alrighty then, I'm just being silly though, guys. Uh, although, I think every character customization that's trying to be very in depth and intensive should at least have that feature in terms of, you know, creating a female, but. That's just my opinion on that. I mean, you want everybody to have the to have the same breast size? I don't, I don't know. Just I'm getting really off topic. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's you know that's how I feel about the game so far. I think it's going to be really great. I still have a very very positive aspect for this game. I've never, you know, I've kind of doubted it from time to time. Like I know I, I still feel weird worried about that health bar system. And oh, uh, the thing I was talking about earlier is that. You know, if you buy new clothes from the beta, it seemed like you couldn't change the color of the clothes you bought. So, like, if you buy Goku's outfit, for example, which is already available. Okay, that's a, yeah, that's a bad example. Like, let's say you buy, like, Ox King's outfit. You can't change the colors of Ox King's outfit. Like, no trailer or the beta showed that you could change the colors of that, which I'm very worried about. I would like to be able to change the colors of, let's say, Ox King's outfit or, uh let's say, Trunks' outfit. Yeah, you know, you buy Trunks' outfit. Let's say you want to change the coat from being blue to, like, I don't fucking know, pink, <laughs> you know? Is it gonna, you're gonna be able to do that or no? I'm a little confused on that. Uh, if anybody has seen gameplay of that, where, like, you know, you can change the color slider on the clothes you buy, you know, that'd be great. Uh, you know, show me that. But, uh, because it kind of sucks, because, you know, the, the clothes in this game, I don't know if anybody knows yet, the clothes in this game do matter. What you wear does matter. Uh, the more clothes you have on, essentially, the more defense and stats you'll have, and all that other stuff. So I'm very, nah, about that, because I would just like to customize my character however I want, and then if we're gonna go into a RPG sort of element kind of thing like that, or like, kind of like a, kind of like an like MMO, too, uh, you know, then I would like it if my clothes kind of didn't do something, uh, because sometimes in RPGs and MMOs, your clothes and armor do obviously do stuff, but, like, in my personal opinion, I would just like to dress him up in whatever, you know, I fucking want and not have to worry about anything and just raise his stats normally with, like, I don't know, item pieces or something, kind of like, uh... Like how the in, the capsule system used to work in like the Budokai, Budokai games, only instead of that they gave you know they gave you stats instead of uh, I think the Tenkaichi games did that actually like they gave you items and you could raise your stats. I don't know. Um, that's what I remember. I think I think Raging Blast does that too. Yeah, actually, as a matter of fact, so I don't know. Maybe they're just trying to change it up because so many games have already done it. So we're already, uh, it is a different change of things though. I'm not hating on the whole clothes giving you stats thing. I'm just saying. Uh, but. Yeah, that's I, I can go on and on about this game though, guys. So uh, if you want me to talk more about it, just my opinions and stuff about it, I can make another video to this because this is getting kind of lengthy. I, I don't really like it when my videos get lengthy. Uh, I personally have a, like a 10-minute sort of issue where I need to stop making videos that are longer than 10 minutes because I keep fucking doing it. Unless it's a walkthrough video, but anyways, uh, yeah. So if you guys like the video and stuff, you agree with some of my opinions, you liked some of my opinions uh, overall, then be sure to leave a like. And, uh, yeah. See you guys later. Out and out.